Hey guys, so I've got some good news and also some bad news. Now my favorite teacher always told me to start with the bad news so you can end on a good note. And well, I learned that, mm, Jesus, I wanna say eight, nine years ago and I still hold true to that. So starting with the bad news, I cannot take any, well, I could not take any more than three fans home from the showroom that was closing. As some of you know, it's I've been going to this store since I was about four or five, and it's closing, and I could only take three fans. That was the limit. But the good news, I reorganized downstairs, which means that now I can't I can take three fans. I could take a whole lot more. Because yeah, there is tons more space down here than there was before. I finally got a decent walking path again. Everything is getting all nice and organized. So I might as well explain to you how it all started. So I had to vacuum some stuff up today and I could not get the vacuum through here because originally everything was pushed over more and you just couldn't make it through. This, these boxes were aligned with that trash can. But anyways, what I did was I moved the stealth out to here and then I slid everything else over. While I was in there, I also went ahead and realphabetized all the blades and got all the recent blades into storage. And the stealth is just in here now. That fan is still on the agenda. And then everything else over here just moved. I did have to take a K4S off one of the fans just to make it work. That needs to go in the trash. I've just been lazy to literally walk up and throw it away. Then everything over here also happened as well. As you can see, it's all more organized and tightly packed. So basically what I decided was that if I put a bunch of the fans that are very thin like this along here and here, I could still have a decent path and, and have even more storage than I did before. So I lined these ones up here. I put this little pile of little motors here and huggers and stuff. And I just slowly started to redo this. Some of the fans stay in the same place and some of them, some of them stay in like the exact same place. Other ones stay in the same general area. The originals are literally just slid over a few inches. The Aruba, the Whisper fans, the Menards turn of the century and also the, uh, the design house there, those ones all pretty much stayed exactly where they were because they were fine. Also the new tone did, but the rest of the stuff completely moved around. Obviously I've still got this thing blowing behind the RC body. My dad's been trying to dry that. But anyways, yeah, so that definitely really helped because now it's much more organized and I can take home some more fans. And if for some reason there's not enough fans at the show for me to take home, that just means that I can take more fans, which is always a good thing. Anyways, and as for the ceiling, everything's the same. I haven't really changed anything here. Like I've said before, these are all gonna stay the same. And then back here, the only real thing I did was I boxed up a lot of the light kit part the, for the Odyssey light kit that the Win 2 came with. This would fit, but uh, because of these things, which I didn't want to take off, it's just gonna sit out here. Otherwise, the Lagoon is still here, other boxes, and then the other stuff, this area. I moved some of this around and got it looking a little nicer as well. Yeah, under the stairs, I haven't touched in literally forever because there's no need. And then back here, there's nothing really that different. I know you can hardly see, but yeah, the box fans are still back there. The grates for the one box fans there. Got the Palisade here, the big double fan. And then there was another look at that. But anyways, yeah, and then I'll also go ahead and take you guys upstairs because I do want to show you as well uh, just a quick new catalog that I got in as well. So I was at the showroom on uh, uh, Friday, which is a couple days ago now, and apparently one of the reps who literally they haven't seen in forever didn't know they were closing because they sent them the new Quizelle catalog, so I actually got that. Usually, I just have to find some way to pull through with Quizelle. Luckily, this ended up working out pretty good. And if you didn't know, Quizelle used to make fans back in like the 80s, and then they stopped and then they started again now with fandeliers, or fan lights I think is what they call them. See how there it is on the shelf. And right now, I think all of these shelves that I've currently got filled with catalogs are as full as they can be. There's not really too much more space. I do have the new Wind River on the way, and that's going to be able to slip in down there whenever that comes. But otherwise, next few books I get, I'm definitely going to have to start going over into that shelf some. And then I also just quickly flipped around the magazines. I do that every once in a while so they don't start bending. 
And then obviously on top over here, everything else has stayed the same. And I don't know if I ever talked about it, but when this binder wall gets full, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting some duplicates in boxes or something. Everything else over here is pretty much the same. I don't think I really did anything there. Over here, I'm starting to have a bunch of comics and ads start to fill up that area again. I'm a big Garfield fan, so I always save the Garfield birthday comics. And as you know, that was the 19th, which is also Juneteenth. But anyways, yeah, and then these fans are all pretty much the same. So, yeah, I just thought I would come up here and show you what's going on here. And also, recently I was um, I was watching a video on Inside Edition, and I did leave a comment down below because I was pretty happy. It was basically this old Burger King that was basically just preserved behind a door, and there were a whole bunch. They still had all the old fans and all the old decor in there, and it looked super cool. I know some of you collectors who are a little bit older will probably remember that. Some of the other ones might as well just know of it because you've seen pictures or something. But yeah, literally everything was preserved. The fans, some of them were still running it. It was an awesome sight. But anyways, yeah, I did leave a comment down below there, and a whole bunch of people took quite a bit of interest in the hobby, and I know that quite a few did subscribe, so a big thank you to that. That does mean so much to me. Like, really, it means a lot. And if any of y'all are watching this, just once again, thank you for showing some interest in my hobby. It's definitely a bit of a strange one, but hey, it keeps me busy like 99% of the time. It always gives me something to do. And I, I've, I've branched off in other hobbies like lighting and other just interior design sort of stuff like that. Thanks to the fans, they've, they've done quite a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on here at the end and say that if you did subscribe or if you did see that and moved over here just to see what sort of content's on this channel, well then thank you so much. It does mean a whole lot. And yeah, I think that's about all I want to say. Regular demos are going to be coming up next week and catalogs, all that good stuff. I don't plan on moving away from that schedule anytime soon. Make sure to leave any requests down in the comments. And yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I can now say this out loud. Since um, even though not many people probably know what store is closing, I still wasn't going to say it till they officially announced it themselves. But yeah, the 16th of July is when they're closing, and I'm going to be going in there on that day, and I'm going to be helping them out on the last day. And it'll probably be the 17th, which is the Sunday after, because I ha I'll i probably have to get everything down and situated, because now I'm going to be allowed to take a whole lot more fans, so I'm going to have to work on that. But I will definitely, I'll get that done, and whenever the video comes up, it'll come up. But that's still for a couple weeks, so... Yeah, but I think that is about the end of this video. That's all I really had to say. So thank you guys for watching. And once again, if you did come over here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And have a good one. Bye-bye.